everyone welcome to Maureen's kitchen welcome to my channel guys yes it's another video and on this video I made smoked fish smoked mackerel fish yes guys it's a very beautiful dried smoked fish yes so please guys watch this video please don't forget to subscribe click the notification bell for more videos happy viewing once again so guys here I have two mackerel fish so I've already washed it it's very clean so after I have my oil too I'll use this oil to rub my fish I'll be showing you how to do it so and also I have two big uh, uh, toothpick so which I'll be using to after folding my fish I'll use it to hold the fish not to not to, not to remain the way I want it to be so I'm going to be taking the tail of the fish and um, this tail right now I'm going to put it inside the mouth of the fish I open the mouth I put the tail in between as you can see yes and I use my hand to hold, hold it hold the tail not to move so here I will use my toothpick I'm going to pierce my toothpick from the nose of the fish through to the tail you, you uh, let it pass through the tail and it will come out from the other side of the nose so this is it then this toothpick I'm going to cut it because it's too long I'm going to cut it short as you can see I'll cut it short so this is how it is now it's very easy so I'm also going to be doing the other one yes this other one too I'm going to take the tail I'm also going to pass it to the mouth I'm going to put it inside the mouth like this hold the tail in the other side so I'm going to be using tooth, uh, toothpick also to pierce the nose through to the through the tail. I'm sorry, this my toothpick is not good. The mouth has broken, so I'm going to be bringing another one. So this is another one. So you can see the mouth is very sharp. So this is the one. This this one is very good. It's easy to use. So I'm going to pierce it from the nose. To the tail through the other nose so you can see and i'll break off the excess one the remaining one that is remaining so this is it guys so guys at this point i'm going to be using my oil to rub my fish yes i'm going to use the, this uh, this oil to rub the fish all over i'll rub it back and front so this oil is going to help it's going to help to give me that beautiful uh, smoke fish color so also it will help the f also for the flavor too so it's very good you use your oil to rub the fish so that's it so guys at this point i use my uh, aluminum paper to cover my baking tray and i use it to cover it so this is it i'm going to be adding raw rice i'm going to add raw rice to the train so i'm making this this is going to give me i'm going to put this inside my oven to to it will help to bring out smoke to help to bring out smoke that will dry that will smoke my fish and give it that uh, uh, dry uh, smoke f uh, fish flavor so i'm going to be adding lifton tea to my uh, to eat you can use any tea that's why it's a tea so just bust it open it's all the black substance inside that you will be adding so i'll also add sugar to it also so this will help bring out smoke in the oven for my fish to smoke very well at this point i'm putting my oven train uh, with the rice and everything inside i'm putting it under my oven rack inside my oven i preheated my oven at uh, 250 degree so this is it i'm uh, the i'm going to be putting my fish right now on my oven rank so then I will be leaving I'll be leaving it for some time to to dry so this is it this is my fish so I'm just going to be putting it on, on, on top of my oven on, on top of my oven rank so as you can see the train is under this what will be bringing out will be bringing out that smoke that will help my fish to smoke very well so this is it I'm putting the fish inside so i'm going to be leaving it for some time and after i'll come back to check check uh, after some time i'm going to be removing my oven train i'm going to remove it 
because right now the smoke is too much so i'm just i'll just remove the oven train throw away the burnt rice uh, and use another aluminum paper to cover my oven train and put it back i'll be putting it back inside my oven so that the uh, oil coming out of the fish will not mess not mess my oven up so i'm going to be i'll just change the uh, the aluminum paper and put it back that's it so this is my oven uh, train i've already wrapped it with another aluminum paper so it's clean i didn't add anything to it it's just i just only wrap it with alu aluminum paper so i'm going to be putting it under under my oven rack so that the oil coming out of my fish will be entering the will be entering inside so that's it so i'll be coming back to, to check my fish later so my fish has been in the oven for one hour so i'm going to be checking it to see how dry it is so for me it's okay like this i love i just like it like this so if you want your own to be to be dried more than this one you can you can still give it some time as you see you see the smoke there, there's still smoke coming out of my oven so but i i just want i just love mine like this so i will not dry it uh, it's okay for me like this so if you want it to be more dry, to to dry more than this you can still leave it so i'll be bringing it out to, i'll be bringing out my fish now yes so my smoke mackerel fish is ready as you can see the color wow is beautiful the fish is dried as you can see wow so beautiful thank you guys for watching my video please do not forget to subscribe click the notification bell for more videos bye bye once again